should move to Nepal, join a monastery. So this was my wife's idea. Right, China? What? Right? What? Oh, you didn't see the first part of it. It was your idea that I take a bubble bath every day. I don't know. I thought that maybe it would help you unwind. I have a lot of problems with sleep. Maybe a bubble bath can calm my mind. I've never really been a bubble bath guy. I understand that you're a chronic bath taker. I am a lifelong bath enthusiast. <laughs> I... The more I can do to let myself just relax and not live in the world, the happier I am. Hot, hot, I made it too hot. That's nice. I'm gonna sit in here for like a half hour. Crap, I already dripped a bunch of water on my phone. A lot of times I just close my eyes and it's the closest I can come in my life to a meditative state. Like I'm listening to my breathing and I'm not overwhelmed by worries. Sitting here trying to meditate, first thing I notice, the sound of the bubbles popping. Listen. Pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna lie. It's terrible. Turns out a bubble bath is extremely relaxing. Who knew? Everyone. The real test is, will it help me sleep? Only time will tell. Well, actually, I will tell. Time is not, has nothing to do with it. Last night's verdict, fell right to sleep. Still didn't sleep long enough. I'm more prepared today. Candles, mandarin berry, because scientists say that, uh, uh, it's just the candle that I found. Fresh balsam, because if you can't beat them, balsam, and of course, Mm. Tart cherry juice. It has melatonin in it, apparently. Also has a lot of sugar, but... Oops. Oh yeah, oh shoot. I should have turned the light off. Now, well, gonna be a wet floor. Oh yeah, oh, that's good. This is good. Maybe I'm too close to these candles. We'll figure that out soon enough. Oh yeah. With candles, with bath bombs, and there's a little bit of maybe an aromatherapy benefit. I should add that I am totally suspicious of all of these things, and I don't think any of them work, but I also <laughs> still do them because I find that for whatever reason, just anecdotally, my life is better. Let me show you something that's really nice to do when you're in a tub. You put your ears under the water. Listen. I put microphones in my ears so you can hear what I'm hearing. This is, uh... This is what you want. We're going handheld. It's, now it's real. It's getting real. I already got the candles lit. This whole situation's pretty lit. I've never s said lit, like, unless referring to, you know, things like lighting candles. Let's take a bath. Now lit has taken on a new slang, meaning describing something that is exciting or excellent. I used it correctly. I gotta stop putting my hands in the tub because I gotta touch the camera. It's like meditation, but really warm and wet. It smells good too. It smells like balsam. The hell's balsam? An aromatic resinous substance such as balm, a herbaceous plant. I don't know if I'm smelling the flower or the balm, but this is pretty lit. All right, I'm gonna do the ear underwater thing again. Listen, listen, listen. I was more of a throw water on me from a spigot kind of guy. Have the water droplets green down my body. I believe they call it showering. I can enjoy a shower, but it doesn't feel relaxing and rejuvenating the way a great bath does. Uh, Taking showers to me feels like I'm being essentially pelted by very small water bullets all the time. That's probably still what I'm gonna be because this takes too much preparation. But I should do this. It's the same old story. Like with yoga or meditation, it's like, oh, but now I gotta take the time. But the long-term benefits could be so great. Problem is I don't know for sure. Come to the end and I'm real relaxed and real tired. Problem is I wanna get up, hop directly into bed. I can't cause I'm all wet. What about a bed that's just made out of sponge? Soaks up the water and the next day you have a a bed squeezer that squeezes all the water out. Talk to some of my business friends. We'll get this idea entrepreneuring. Han Solo glass. Ooh. Life of a bounty hunter stressful. You know he's got a bubble bath on the Millennium Falcon and he's drinking cherry juice every single night. And for Harry Chewbacca, I don't see any better way to bathe. Same goes for me. <laughs> all right, let's make this one even more immersive. This is what it's like to lean back. Uh, now from the POV. Uh, Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Surprise, wiggle. Kind of bored. <laughs> Not really 
excited to be in the tub this time. Okay, now I feel pretty relaxed. Look at that really creepy shadow. <laughs> There's an alien in my mouth. <laughs> my dork. This is ridiculous. Every single time I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I want to do this. And then I feel great when I'm done. Does it work every time? It works pretty much every time. There is something physiological about it, right? Because it's warm water. I don't know exactly what's causing it. I'm not, a, God knows I'm not a scientist, but like <laughs> my pulse goes down. I've actually taken my blood pressure in the bath and my blood pressure is a little lower. But if you were to ask me right now, if you want to take a bubble bath, firstly, I'd say no. Secondly, how did you get into my house? It's 10 p.m. Last night I actually had a great night's sleep. Maybe it's because of the bubble bath, I don't know. Still don't wanna do it. I do almost immediately feel relaxed though. I always have the urge to not do the things that will be good for me. Instead, I wanna eat a bunch of junk and just watch my blood pressure and cholesterol rise until I die. Think of all the tubs not being used right now in the world. Doing this is awesome. Sixth day in a row of taking a bubble bath. I don't want to say this is the greatest achievement of my life. I just watched the movie Ford vs. Ferrari. I got speed on my mind, so I need, to, I need to chill out a little bit. Christian Bale, that guy can really put on a good British accent. And ben Affleck's brother did a real good job as a racing guy. This is very nice. I want to make this a habit. I'm probably not going to do it because I'm an idiot. I should move to Nepal, join a monastery. Oh, I have a family though. I should stay with my family. Well, I know some people feel like grossed out because they feel like they're sitting in their own filth or whatever, but you realize you're like always with your own filth. You're walking in your own filth. You're standing in your own filth. Like you, there's never a time when you aren't like covered and surrounded by trillions and trillions of bacteria. That's both comforting and terrifying. Yeah. Taking a bath in the world today. Takes a lot of water. Turning on the faucets real loud. I hope it doesn't wake up my daughter. Wouldn't you like some candle flame? Sometimes do you wanna go into a bathtub? Oh my God, same. The walls are a giant tic-tac-toe game. X, O, X. You wanna be under a sea of bubbles, filth, and shame. If you don't take a bath, then you only have yourself to blame. ba doo be doop do 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 Bath is filmed before a live studio audience. How often is it every night? Probably four days a week. I don't want to take a bath if it's just going to have to be a rushed thing. But it's even better for me to like take a bath at like 2.30 p.m. so that I can have a whole evening's worth of feeling better about the world. That is interesting. Every time I did it, it was at night. Today, I'm gonna do a middle of the day bath. Thank you for that recommendation. I, I can't wait to see how it goes. <laughs> now I'm gonna try middle of the day bath. Remember how I am right now, and then we'll reassess in the evening. This is how you are. Yeah, my, my legs are kind of crossed. I'm, I'm trying to mimic a tripod. Well, you're not doing a very good job. Honestly, I'm a little stressed. I've been working on this video about taking bubble baths, but I also have this interview with John Green and I'm trying to combine the two. I don't know if it works, but I think so. Oh yeah, feels pretty similar. What does middle of the day water sound like, I wonder? Okay, honestly, this is amazing. I think it's better than before bed. I may actually continue doing this. Now it's time to thank the sponsor of this video. Clicker, clicker. It's this little attachment you slap onto the back of your phone and you pull it out and you have a better grip. Or you can click it and then I can stand it up here rather than holding it over here and it's soaking in my filth. I watch totally sweet visual entertainment or stand it up this way in case I'm watching stuff that has tall people in it. And using the grip makes it more comfortable navigating my apps. See how my thumb can comfortably flap in the wind? Sometimes you gotta air out your thumb, you know what I'm saying? I'm using it right now to read the script for the words that I'm saying right now. If you see someone on the street, you can wave at them with a picture of yourself waving at them. It's also wireless charging compatible if you're one of those wire haters. Here's a visual example of wireless to go with what I'm saying. See, no wires. And I know you're probably asking, but is it reusable and non-residual 3M adhesive? Greg? Yes, it is. 
You can put it on the back of your existing case like I did, or you can use their combo stand and grip case. Here's what it looks like when it's not dripping with bath water. Cases won't originate in my bathtub. This is just for presentational purposes. Click the link below to go to their website and you can choose from all their different colors and sizes and such. Thank you, Clicker. Time to watch stuff. <laughs> Red wedding gets me every time. China's redoing the walls in here. It has nothing to do with my bath taking. Your bath taking was so... The fumes that came off my body during the bath peeled the wallpaper. Midday bath? Yeah. I'm a believer. After the week of evening bath, I thought, hmm, I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing this. I am gonna keep doing midday. John Green, turns out he knows what he's talking about sometimes. When I took baths at night, it felt good, but it was like, eh, I, well, I could sleep now. Cutting into my sleep time. Midday, I felt relaxed, and then I felt like I was able to tackle the rest of the day mm -hmm. in a more productive manner. Yeah. I used to love baths. It's a lot of like getting ready mm -hmm. for a bath. Like you gotta gather your stuff up. Oh yeah, I complained about that in this video. I'll just spend my free time peeling wallpaper and patching drywall. Okay. Instead. Okay. That's the same thing, right? No. Very relaxing. No. You get nice and clean. No. No. Thank you for watching. And thanks to John Green for talking with me. He's one half of the Vlogbrothers. Check out their YouTube channel and check out his amazing podcast, The Anthropocene Reviewed. And he wrote lots of books. Read them. Previous video, we quit coffee for a month. Subscribe? Maybe hit the notification bell. I'm so close to a million subscribers. You know what's gonna happen when I get a million subscribers? Nothing. Fantastic. But I really <laughs> would like it. You can support my Patreon. I do daily vlog every weekday. 